While conducting a national study into the safety of household cleaners a couple of years ago, researcher Lara McKenzie says she was both pleasantly surprised and deeply concerned. The study showed that between 1990 and 2006, children poisoned or injured by household cleaners dropped an impressive 46 percent, but did so with one notable exception. We did see a huge decrease over that time period, which is the good news. The bad news is that spray bottle injuries stayed high. They didn't decrease like the other ones did. In fact, spray bottles accounted for 40% of all injuries, sending thousands of kids each year to emergency departments. These can be really serious injuries. That didn't sit well with this group of researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital, so they decided to do something about it. They've designed the first spray bottle top with a two-trigger system. Adult hands are big enough to control both triggers, but as you can see in this focus group video, young children have a hard time understanding how the bottle works. And in the home setting, that that extra measure of protection could make a big difference. Our technology has the potential to prevent more than 6,000 injuries each year, which is 18 injuries a day, which is about the same size as a preschool classroom full of kids. Researchers say studying different products and pointing out their potential risk is just part of their job. But it was a passion for protecting children that led this group to take the unusual step of turning an observation into a solution. At Nationwide Children's Hospital, this is Clark Powell reporting.